is trying to release on a local label a good way of getting DJ gigs. So, sadly, a lot of people are not going to want to hear this. But no, it's not a good way. It's not a good way at all. I would say, in the beginning, you need to use labels signing your tracks as a litmus test for the quality of the music that you're making. When you start out making music, you're not going to have the ear or the experience to actually decide by yourself if something is worth being released. So you better leave that up to recognized labels. Being on your local label is really not going to help you get gigs because the people that book gigs don't know local labels. So you might get booked on that label's party in your hometown, but aside from that, it's not going to do much for you. These local labels are going to sign tracks sometimes that are not the greatest. The problem with that is that as soon as something under your name is released, that is going to be with you for the rest of your life. going to be on Spotify, that is going to be on Beatport, and you're never going to hear the end of it. So in two, three, four or five years, when you become a renowned producer and you do release your tracks on the labels you want to be on, people are going to your Spotify and ending up on these tracks that are just not that good. You do not want that to happen. Be very selective with your music and be patient. Wait, it will pay off, I promise you.